Hello everyone, welcome to Kakao's Hideout. I am Kakao Konami. Just a moment. I'm going to do a video reading. Uh, this time it's going to be for Gemini and your forecast for the year 2020. With um, It's like a forecast with the rest of the Zodiac. Uh, so just think of a person that represents a zodiac sign and that is going to be the general forecast for your 2020 with this person okay so i'm going to start with uh, the usual aries to you pisces but uh just a disclaimer this is just a general forecast so if it doesn't resonate please do not take the message okay now let's start for aries Okay, Gemini and Aries, what are your, uh, what, what, what? <laughs> sorry, I'm sleeping. How is your 2020 going to be with an Aries? Two of swords reversed. So there's going to be a decision that's going to be finalized with an Aries. Let's see what this is all about. So it's temperance reversed. So maybe this is going to be about things that you need to prioritize. So maybe 2019 with an Aries had been very chaotic, very draining. There are a lot of obligations and tasks that you need to complete or accomplish that you don't know which one to uh finish first and in this case uh, for 2020 it seems like both of you are going to evaluate your tasks together and you're going to concentrate on the most important tasks and continue with uh, the chores and it seems like you will be disregarding obligations that are not yours in the first place Gemini so let's see what's the advice for this um, connection king of swords so cutting off again king of swords is for cutting off all the unimportant uh, connection situation relationships especially those that are not um, advantages to you into your situation with Aries, whatever that may be. So, if you're going to do just that, be logical, be straightforward, and honest and frank about what you think should be prioritized and what you think is not going to be your obligation or not going to be a problem for 2020. Possible outcome is yeah, uh, this is the world of pride, so it's going to be completion of all of the things that you need to do accomplishment transition from one level to another so that means you have to cut off all of the chores that you need to do and prioritize what is important in order for you to um, in order for you to go for the next level or go for the next set of responsibilities May it be with Aries or may it be alone. Okay, so that's your 2020 with an Aries. So there, if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now for your 2020 with a Taurus. <clears throat> How is your 2020 going to be with... Okay. The situation for 2020 with the Taurus is going to be Four of Swords. So contemplation. Uh, uh, this is going to be about strategies. So you and Taurus would seem to be 
needing a whole lot of thinking time regarding what? Uh, by the Four of Swords, please. Regarding Knight of Swords, Reverse. So, this is going to be an unexpected problem or an unexpected and unwanted guest or someone who is trying to sabotage your opportunities. May it be your opportunity alone, Gemini, or your opportunity with Taurus. Now, let's see what is going to be the advice. Advice for Gemini and Taurus for the situation is Okay, three of swords upright. Hmm. For some reason, I'm sensing some health issues here. But let's clarify the three of swords first. Three of swords is also an indication of a heart surgery or a heart failure that needs um, medical attention. Clarify the Three of Swords, please. Six of Wands. Pride. Victory. So, let me just try to analyze this. So, what you need to do is, okay, pretend that you're not heartbroken. Or pretend that you're confident about a surgery. Why? Why is the Six of Wands here for Three of Swords? Why for Six of Wands, please? Just a moment. Five of Pentacles. Possible outcome, please. Page of Pentacles. Let me pause this video so I can analyze this properly. Just a moment. <clears throat> okay, so here's what I'm seeing here, Gemini. It seems that you and Taurus would need to think things over regarding someone who's trying to mess up an opportunity or, or some sort of a responsibility here. Okay, uh, Knight of Swords Reverse is someone who's going to gossip and try to sabotage other people's work just to get ahead of them. Now, in this case, I'm seeing scenarios here. First, it seems like, okay, first is if you and um, Taurus are some sort of a partner, um, may it be romantically or business-wise, career-wise, this Knight of Swords is someone outside the partnership that is trying to break you apart, you and Taurus. And you need to contemplate. You need to think things over on how to get rid of this. Because this is a bad energy. And this is going to sabotage whatever goals you have with Taurus. So, um, it seems like you and Taurus are going to think about this person for the rest of 2020. Like, how are you going to get rid of this person? Or how are you going to get rid of this opportunity? Or unwanted experience? Or unwanted or unexpected um, situation that's going to stop you from uh, aiming for or attaining your goals. Now, that's scenario one. Scenario two, this Knight of Swords can be you, Gemini. And third scenario, this can be Taurus as well. Then maybe... As part of the strategy to get what both of you want, either you or Taurus 
are going to do the dirty little tricks to get what you want. So maybe both of you are trying to outthink each other or out scheme each other. So again, first scenario, Knight of Swords reverse, maybe someone outside the partnership was trying to break you and Taurus apart because the, the tandem may be too strong for this person. Uh, scenario two, this Knight of Swords may be you trying to think about doing a dirty trick to get ahead of Taurus or scenario three, Taurus is thinking about a di a doing a dirty, bleh, dirty trick to get ahead of you, Gemini. So, take it however it resonates. Now, the advice. If it's going to be applied in scenario one, if this is someone outside the uh, the relationship or the partnership that's trying to break you and Taurus apart, you have to fake it that you're okay even if deep inside you're being rejected and or there's a big possibility that you're going to be rejected and you're going to be left out in the cold because the knight of swords reversed is someone who's very convincing so maybe you're worried gemini that this person is going to convince taurus to go against you so you have to be prepared, you have to fake it till you make it and act like you're okay, even if you're worried that you might be rejected and you might be left out in the cold. Now, scenario two and three, if the Knight of Swords is you or Taurus who's trying to outwit or outthink or outscheme each other, then same thing is applicable. Fake it till you make it. Even if you're worried that the the urge to get to the goal first is going to ruin the partnership or going to ruin the relationship. Try to, you know, try to fake it and try to make it look like you don't care. Because, especially if this is about business and career, you don't have to take things personally. It's just a job. Both of you are going to get paid. Both of you are going to get rewarded to whoever... Uh, gets the goal first, whoever is more competitive and whoever is the winner. So do not take it personally. And if you're going to do just that possible outcome, another opportunity is going to be offered to whoever wins the situation. So there. That's for you, uh, Gemini and Ataurus. And if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, for Gemini and a fellow Gemini. <clears throat> what is the situation between Gemini and a fellow Gemini for the rest of 2020 as a general forecast? So six of ones reversed, failure or lack of Right about something. Okay. To clarify the six of ones reversed. It's going to be okay, this one has to come up. Knight of Swords reversed. So failure or lack of pride about something that you said or you did maybe or something that had you know, it's more like something you did or something you said. Or some sort of a way that you handle the situation you have been maybe you you're going to spend the rest of 2020 cringing about something both uh, you and a fellow gemini did now the advice four of cups upright and to clarify the four of cups upright is Knight of Cups reversed. So, Six of Cups. 
so maybe there's um you're going to have another chance to how do you what's the word to make up for whatever this is that you're very ashamed of Gemini May, may, this may be something that you did to that fellow Gemini, or both you and Gem, both you and a fellow Gemini did to someone, or to something. It, I'm sensing some sort of a very immoral or very negative thing. Maybe you've brewed some gossip within the office, tried to sabotage other people's uh, work and all that, and you're not really proud of it. So it's two scenarios, either you and a fellow Gemini did this, or you did this to a fellow Gemini. Now, there's going to be someone arriving that's going to um, it seems, I know, it seems like the same opportunity is going to pop up. What? It's like the similar situation regarding whatever it is that you're very ashamed of that you did before. It seems like the same scenario is going to happen again. Nostalgia, six of cups. And someone is going to offer you an opportunity to do this again. To do something um, I would really like to say immoral for some reason. Immoral or immoral or schemeful. Very negative. And um, for some reason, the, or the reason that this person is going to offer this to you is so that he, this... Um, this Knight of Cups will be able to avoid heavy obligations, heavy responsibilities, the tension of working hours and for hours and hours. But you are advised not to accept the offer. So if maybe before you've done something dirty nasty towards someone in order for you to get the goal in order for you to victor to be victorious in a shameful way maybe outside you're just faking it you're just trying to project a very proud prideful you but deep inside you're very ashamed of what you did and um And the same opportunity is going to pop up, but you're being advised to say no. Yeah. You know, you know why I think you have to say no? Because the one offering is Knight of Cups. So this may be brilliant. This may be someone who actually analyzed all angles of the situation. But Knight of Cups is also a dangerous knight. Reverse. This is someone who's going to play the victim. So, um, initially, he's, he is going to be the one. Again, disregard agenda. Concentrate on the energy. So, he or she may be the one who's going to initiate this. He or she will be the one who's going to offer you to do this. So that everything will be easier for the two of you. But once everything is going to be disclosed and everything go, everyone's going to know about what you did, Knight of Cups Reverse is going to be someone who's just cry and tell everyone that you were the one who initiated it in the first place. So say no. It's a very negative feeling. Now, if you're going to say no, Stand your ground and do not repeat what you did before. Possible outcome is Eight of Swords reversed. Something will be revealed to you. 
and it has got something to do with King of Swords reversed. I mean, upright. So there's a big possibility that this is just a trap. Are you going to do it again? You're being observed. You're being analyzed. You're being um, evaluated. So, careful. Okay. So there, that's for you and a fellow Gemini. Now, let's proceed to you and Cancer. <laughs> so you and Cancer. How is your 2020 going to be with a Cancer? Situation for the rest of 2020 with a Cancer is Knight of Wands reverse. You're not you're not going to commit on anything with a Cancer. And to clarify the Knight of Wands reverse, it's going to be Page of Pentacles. So this may be some sort of a business with a Cancer. Or a project that's going to add more uh, financial gain to you, Gemini. So, maybe there is a potential for this offer, for this project, this investment, business, career choice, whatever this page of pentacles may be. But for some reason, you're not going to commit. Like, you're just going to say yes but you're not going to do anything about it. That's what I'm sensing here. And the advice is, is a once, start something new. And to clarify the ace of once is nine of cups reverse. So maybe um, when this was offered to you, Gemini, May it be this has been offered to you and Cancer, or Cancer offered this opportunity to you. However, the situ however it resonates, just take it. Um, maybe you, you weren't sure about it. Like, um, onset of the offer, you just said, no, I'm not going to commit into this one. This is not something that I really, really want to focus on. But for some reason, the cards are telling you to at least consider it. Try again is the Knight of Cups. I mean, Nine of Cups reverse. This is a try again card. So try to reconsider the offer again. Because there's a big possibility that there is potential in the business. And um, if you're going to do just that, okay. This is King of Cups and Four of Wands. So, King of Cups is a brilliant businessman, but only to something that he or she is very uh, comfortable about. So, yeah. Try to reconsider the offer, or try to uh, reconnect again, try again to reconnect with Cancer, or try to tell cancer to reconnect with whoever this um, this page of Pentacles offering you the opportunity if this is someone outside the partnership with cancer or your connection with cancer because uh, there's a big possibility that whatever um, whatever is the situation of this offer this business this good news regarding money it's something that you're going to be very comfortable about handling yeah you you'll be very confident and at ease with the chores or the tasks that this business or investment uh is requiring you of so yeah that's it so there that's for you gemini and a cancer now let me just pause the video so I can change candles just a moment. 
Okay, so let's proceed to your 2020 with a Leo. <clears throat> so now, any messages, please, regarding the Gemini's 2020 with a Leo. How is Gemini's 2020 going to be with a Leo? It's Ten of Swords reversed. So this is got something to do with past betrayals, past disappointments, backstabbing. For some reason, the Knight of Cups upright popped up. So, um, maybe someone has been, or uh, someone has been appointed to do a chore or to be responsible about something, maybe a business, a person. But Knight of Cups is someone who doesn't want to be the one facing confrontations, tensions, and problems. So it's either you, Gemini, had been irresponsible, uh, had, had, had been irresponsible about something that Leo uh, appointed you to do, or there is someone outside your connection with Leo. Maybe you and Leo appointed someone. Who ended up being lazy and irresponsible. So, take it wherever it resonates. Now, what is the advice regarding this matter? Seven of once reversed. So this is um well seven of wands upright is you're defending your stance. But seven of wands reversed is you're you're letting in people but not necessarily you're going to take over their obligations. So it's like choosing your obligations. But with seven of wands upright it's like Nobody's allowed to interrupt or to interfere with my life. So, what you need to do is to make sure that people will know their boundaries. So, in this case, if it's you're going, if you're going to apply the Knight of Cups in the reading, it seems like well, maybe this Knight of Cups is going to reconnect with you or try to think that. Um, everything can be fixed after the disappointing uh, situation happened. So Knight of Cups can be you, Leo, or someone outside your connection with Leo. So take it wherever it resonates. So what you need to do about the situation, try to focus on your own obligation. Do not try to catch other people's obligation or try to fix other people's problems. You have to stay focused on your own problems. And to clarify, Seven of Wands, this is Knight of Pentacles reversed. Especially if you do not have the budget to, to rescue other people's problems or to be there for other people. So yeah. And if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is Five of Cups reversed. So there are things that you're very sad about because you have to let them go. And I think in this case, this is the, someone who um, is the irresponsible person. But at the same time, you're going to be very grateful that it did happen. Because that means you're no longer going to have any connection with that person. So if you are, go you are the Knight of Cups... You are the one who disappointed Leo, or you are the one who disappointed someone by uh, not being committed to the task or to the the job. 
then you have to concentrate on establishing your finances because that means you're not going to be given another chance by Leo, especially if he's a Leo because um, Leos can be quite difficult when they're crossed. So, yeah, sadly, that's the case. So there, that's for you, Gemini and the Leo, in your 2020 forecast with Leo. So now let's proceed to, where's my pen? Where did I place it? Now let's proceed to Virgo. <clears throat> now, what's the, uh, what was the question again? <laughs> Okay, Gemini and Virgo, how are they going to be, uh, how is 2020 going to be with Gemini and a Virgo? The general forecast situation is, five of ones of pride, challenges, competition, contests. Now let's see what this is all about. Nine of Swords Reapers. So whatever anxiety or worry that you have with this, with whatever challenges that you're facing with Leo, I mean with Virgo, or maybe there's a Leo involved, let's uh, just take it however it resonates. So whatever anxiety that you had with your situation with Virgo, it seems like you've let go of them. So it's either the challenge... Or the, yeah, the challenge is with Virgo or against Virgo. So, whatever anxiety you've had with that hardship is no longer bothering you for 2020. And the advice... Nine of Swords. So, ah, I see. The challenge between you and Virgo, or the challenge that you and Virgo is going to face for 2020, is letting go of your fears, letting go of your anxieties, your worries. Because the advice is to let go of your worries. Or to... To inform yourself, as an advice, Knight of Swords is to inform you that whatever anxiety, whatever worry that you had, you have right now, it has no basis. There's a big possibility that there is, um, it's all in your mind and it's not going to happen. And to clarify the Knight of Swords, the Empress, you can be the Empress. Just let go of your anxieties and your worries. Whatever hardship that you've been uh, through with Virgo, it's um, it happened in order for you to grow as a person. And there's nothing to worry about it. Not anymore for 2020. So if you're going to do just that, possible outcome with Virgo is... Six of Wands reverse, you will be able to accept whatever um, whatever you did that you're not really proud of, whatever failure you had, and um, there's cheating. There's something sneaky that you have to do it. You're ashamed, but you have to do it. So maybe this has got something to do with the challenge with the uh, let me see, bottom of the card, walking away. Maybe this is something, there is something wrong that you did, and you have to admit that you did something wrong. 
but you're worried that the empress is going to punish you or something or you're being intimidated by the presence of the empress so why not be the empress as well it's like you have to copy the energy of an empress in order to deal with an empress like sneakily you have to at least study or, or research your your tactic how are you going to speak to this person if you're um, if you have if you've done something wrong with a Virgo how are you going to reach out that's the question and um, just let go of your anxieties because it seems like this is going to be hard because uh, there's a challenge card it's going to be hard at first but once you've made up your mind that you're going to reach out and talk to this person to the empress you'll be able to do it like somehow this empress is going to listen to you but this is how it's been placed like the empress is intimidating the the person stealing the swords but he's got to do it. Like he's got to. He's got to run away with the swords, or he's got to run away with the the thoughts. Because swords is about thoughts and logic and analyzation. So he, if he needs to walk away to think things over, then he's just got to do it and explain himself later. So in this case, for 2020, I guess. Um, you are being called Gemini to reach out to someone that you did wrong even if you're scared even if you're worried and anxious about the reaction the initial reaction will be something that's going to be very impressed like intimidating but you'll be able to get through it so there that's for you, Gemini and Virgo, and, excuse my dog, I'm sleeping right outside of my bunk, bunk bed, just a moment. Okay, Gemini, let's proceed to, um, your 2020 forecast with a Libra. So your third, your thirty-seven, your twenty twenty forecast with the Libra has got something to do with four. I uh, know, yeah, four of swords upright, contemplation strategies, thinking things over, and it has got something to do with. Reunion. Reunion with the Libra, Queen of Swords. Maybe you've been cut off before. Now let's see what's the advice regarding the situation. No card flipped up. So. Okay, this one flipped. Nine of Swords, Passion, Drive, and Clarify Nine of Wands. Okay, Dissatisfaction, Judgment, and Verse. So, if you're not satisfied with your situation being away from Libra, so there's a reunion in the, in the court so there's a big possibility that you're contemplating about reaching out to Libra or trying to see each other again catch up and all that so just do so but whatever uh, dissatisfaction you had with your connection with Libra maybe before when you were together you weren't that 
you weren't very communicative, you weren't very expressive about your feelings or about whatever type of uh, connection you have with this person, with Libra. Try to address that. Try to bring up old ideas or maybe old memories and if you have any questions about something that uh, the Libra did before, in order to satisfy your curiosity, then for God's sake, ask. Especially if it has been going on within your mind for years. And if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is Ace of Wands, a new start. For some reason, I'm sensing lovers here. And Six of Pentacles, an equal give and take. That has been marred by arguments, five of swords, and made you realize that there are things that you deserve more than this connection. So maybe before there were differences between the two of you, you fought a lot, you don't know how to handle each other, you don't know how to give and share and uh, receive at the same time. You weren't the equal give and take type of partners, uh, partners. But now, if you're thinking about reaching out to Libra, for some reason I'm sensing that you, Gemini, would like to reach out to a Libra. So, try to address that dissatisfaction within the situation and start all over again. Okay. So there, that's for you, Gemini and Libra. If you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And now for your 2020 with Scorpio. Okay. What is the general forecast between Gemini and a Scorpio? How is the 2020 going to be with Gemini and Scorpio? 2020 forecast between Gemini and Scorpio has got something to do with death, termination, ending. So let's see what is this all about. Clarify death card, please. Three of one's reverse options that you need to research or retry again. So maybe there are a lot of try again moments between you and Scorpio, uh, Gemini, and this is going to end. Like m maybe you've been like chalk and cheese for years and now you're going to end it now let's see what's the advice maybe there's some sort of a, um, involvement with Scorpio and you can't see eye to eye but you've been trying to figure out how to be compatible in a specific situation but for some reason it needs to end. The The situation or the connection between you and the Scorpio needs to end. The try again card needs to end. The try again phase. Like if something doesn't work, then let's change the tactic. Let, let's change the, the connection. Let's change the perception of the situation or of the partnership. And then it falls back to the, the same pattern. So that try again thing needs to end. Now what you need to do about this is four of ones. Go for what you, you are uh, at ease with or very comfortable to do with. Or with. Um, go aim for the option that you're very comfortable and at ease. And is that even correct grammar? 
I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy. Anyway, to clarify the four of wands. Oh, okay, king of swords, and then I flipped. Um, this is the wheel of fortune reversed. So if you're not comfortable with the lack of change, the stagnant situation with king of swords reversed, this is someone who's trying to um, sabotage your work, someone who doesn't want you to progress, doesn't want you to be successful. Then go for, for the connection that you're comfortable with. So if you're not comfortable with king of swords because nothing's happening, it's very stagnant, there's no change in the situation, then leave. So the King of Swords can be someone outside the partnership, or this can be Scorpio, this can be you. So if you're not comfortable with your version of yourself wherein you're always analyzing and not executing anything, and no change or progress is happening in the situation, then change the aspects of yourself. If this is Scorpio who's trying to sabotage your work and trying to make things difficult for you in order for you to be stagnant and prevent any changes from happening, then leave. And if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is five of ones upright. So you will be able to conquer any challenges. If you're going to surround yourself with people that you're comfortable with, with situation that you're at ease with. So, whatever or whoever is home to you, go for it. If you feel at home in somebody's uh, connection, then go for that person. If you feel comfortable and at home at a specific place or a specific workplace, a specific business venture, investment, then go for it. And whatever challenges may happen after that will be easier for you because you're no longer stressed with people or situation that you're not comfortable to be with in the first place. So there. <clears throat> That's for you, um, Gemini and the Scorpio. <clears throat> now let's start with Gemini and a Sagittarius. What is the general forecast for Gemini and Sagittarius for 2020? 2020 between Gemini and Sagittarius has got something to do with Ten of Cups reversed. Finding what you deserve versus leaving what you don't deserve. And it has got something to do with... Okay. High Priestess, Four of Pentacles. High Priestess, the overly emotional person who tends to decide based on emotions, not on wisdom. And Four of Pentacles has got something to do with someone not letting go of something. So maybe Gemini, you and Sagittarius are going to analyze whatever it is that you're not um, Oh, you're going to analyze what you need to to cling on to and what are the things that you need to let go of. Now as an advice the full upright, so take a risk, go somewhere else, reconnect with someone else or since the Ten of Cups upright is here, um, I mean reversed, so whatever situation you have with Sagittarius and you do not, you think you do not deserve it, take a risk. And this card came up a while ago. Take a risk 
and work hard for whatever it is that you want for yourself. So, if there is some sort of selfishness within the situation, Gemini, maybe Sagittarius is very uh, possessive about his or her his or her own materials, her own, his or her own money. Maybe he's always trying to, you know, calculate how much you've spent and all that. Then take a risk, work on something that will give you money on your own. Because this is someone who's trying to calculate how how much is spent and then goes berserk when things doesn't uh, meet his or her own expectations. So if you think you do not deserve that, then leave. Or at least try to uh, stabilize your finances so you won't have to ask anything from Sagittarius. Or this can be vice versa. Again, this is a general read, so... Take it away where it resonates. So take a risk and build your own source of income. So you won't have to ask anyone of anything. And um, if this is someone who's always asking money from you, then try to calm down and... You know, try to think before you speak. Before you try to point it out to that person that you're not a credit card or something. You're supposed to be, before trying to point out to someone, maybe Sagittarius or someone outside your partnership with Sagittarius, um, that... We, that we all have to work and earn our money. Try to calm down. Do not be this high priestess reversed. Do not say something out of anger, out of frustration, out of annoyance. And if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is Page of Cups reversed. So this is something that someone will need to learn how to handle. So, a uh, page of cups is about studies, learning. So, whoever's being stingy about money is going to drive some the, his or her partner to into working for something that he or she wants. So, if you, Gemini, are being, um, are thinking that you do not deserve Sagittarians, um, stinginess or thriftiness about money, then work hard. And if you're going to take that risk, you're going to learn a lot. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be difficult. But for some reason, it's going to stabilize your, your money. You, you'll be able to share your money with Sagittarius. And you will no longer be bound to how, how much Sagittarius is going to provide you. Or vice versa. If Sagittarius is the one who is being uh, evaluated or calculated to how much he or she spent, then take a risk and... Encourage Sagittarius to work for his or her money. It will be hard, but it will be beneficial for both of you. So there. That's for you, um, Sagittarius and Gemini. Let's proceed to Gemini and Capricorn. Now for Gemini, Capricorn, <clears throat> Gemini and Capricorn. 
How is your 2020 going to be with a Capricorn? So your 2020 with a Capricorn has got something to do with Tower moment. A shocking experience, unexpected problem, unexpected experience. So hopefully I'm wrong, but usually tower moments are about uh, the physical house. So hopefully I'm wrong, uh, usually based from experiences with other um, uh, clients. Uh, it's usually a, a house burning down or being uh, robbed. Or there's something within the house that's going to be need renovation of, of some sort. But in a spiritual way, this can be some sort of a realization that it ha you've it seems like you've been stuck in in this mentality, and by the time that you realize that you've been thinking wrong or you've been believing something that is totally wrong or untrue then that's a tower moment it's like a sturdy um, belief or faith on something and then it crumbled so to clarify the tower card let's see it's Queen of Wands reversed. So it has got something to do with confidence. It has got something to do with um, manipulation based on confidence and passion and energy. So maybe someone is teaching you to, you know, maybe shut up and let me handle this. Let me, let me speak to them, let me talk to them, uh, let me see this for ourselves, and let me, let me check the situation. It's always like, it feels like you have been banned into exploring your potential, your capabilities, um, Gemini. And finally, the tower is crumbling. You realize that you don't need to rely on someone on somebody else in order for you to manage your life. So let's see. Maybe Capricorn is manipulating you. Maybe you and Capricorn as a partner is being manipulated by someone outside the partnership. Now the advice the card jumped up is seven of pentacles reverse. So try to go back to whatever, whatever happened before. Because Seven of Pentacles has got something to do with already... Um, with Seven of Pentacles, it's implementing something that you've planned and you're waiting for the result. Now, as a reverse, it's an indication that there is a result already. So there is no need for assessment. There is no need for evaluation. So it seems like you need to look back to the past. How did this person handle your confidence? How did this person manipulate you based on your ego? Because once is all about ego as well. Clarify that to once upright. So, me, so the advice is to choose an option. Are you going to continue being manipulated by your passion, by your your ego, or are you going to stand your ground and be confident to to do things on your own? You have to choose. It's like maybe you've tried before to do things on your own and you've had results, but most of the time you are being manipulated to giving up your your 
capabilities and allowing other people into doing things uh, for uh, on your behalf. So try to compare. Or it seems like you've, you've already compared because the Seven of Pentacles is reversed. It seems like you've already compared, Gemini, that things run smoothly maybe when you're when you do it on your own and it takes a lot more of money and time and effort when you allow someone else to do it for you so choose which of the options are you going to take so if you're going to do just that you know try to um compare your the results of your goals or your your efforts when you do it on your own versus when you allow other people to do it for you. Possible outcome is page of pentacles upright. So you'll be able to start something that's worthy of your money and attention. So this is good news regarding money, good news to uh, regarding an investment or a business. So it seems like you have to choose yourself. Because all you need is confidence. So there. That's for you and a Capricorn. So Capricorn's role there would be either the manipulator or the one you're um, you're going to choose to uh, build a new start with after being manipulated. So there. That's for you, Gemini and a Capricorn. And if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now let's proceed to. Aquarius. Now, <clears throat> for Aquarius, your 2020 Gemini within Aquarius has got something to do with, okay, this one picked up, Five of Cups reversed. Has got something to do with um, happiness after the sadness or sunshine after the rain kind of thing. And this has got something to do with uh, confidence or building up your, your own or trying to figure out your own way. So... What is the advice? The advice is higher font reverse. Try to point out whatever it is that you think needs to be changed, needs to be evaluated. Try to point out other people's mistakes, other people's flaws. Maybe you've been too patient. Maybe you've been too, you know, peaceful. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to be the one uh, being tagged as the bitchy type of person. But it seems like you need to. You need to point it out to people, to authorities maybe, however it resonates or however it applies. That there is something that needs more attention. There is something that needs to be fixed. It's like you been a victim of that mistake, you've been a victim of that flaw, but you're not confident to point it out, you're not confident enough to speak out or to tell the authorities perhaps, and it seems like Aquarius will be the one who's going to, it's either you and Aquarius are experiencing the, the result of that mistake, or the result of that flaw or 
Aquarius will be the one who's going to point out or is going to um, encourage you to speak out. Because the Hierophant reverse is the exact opposite of the patient understanding Hierophant. So you're not going to, you know, lie low. You're not going to shut up and, and bottle and have your emotions bottled in. This time you need to speak out. You need to point out the mistakes. You need to call out authorities or, or people involved in a situation regarding something that needs to be fixed, needs more attention. Now, if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is three of pentacles. You will be heard. People will be um, joining you, perhaps, if this is a community or a group of people type of thing. Maybe this is something that a lot of people have been whining and complaining about and you're the only one who pointed it out to the authorities. So, yeah, maybe Aquarius will be um, the one encouraging you to do this. And because of that, there's going to be a teamwork, group work, coordination with a group of people and it's going to fix the problem. Some reason Queen of Swords upright appeared, so maybe you need to speak to someone with feminine energy, someone who maybe a lawyer, a doctor, or someone who's being paid to provide professional service, or someone who is very logical and intelligent. No, not wishy-washy. Very frank, this needs to be cut off, this needs to continue. That's the type of person you need to go to. And this is a Gemini Aquarius thing, or Gemini Aquarius forecast, so maybe this person is an Aquarius. Because it's the sword suit, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, so maybe this is an Aquarius that you need to speak to. So there, that's for you Aquarius and Gemini. Now, let's proceed to Pisces. Now, <clears throat> Gemini and Pisces. How is your 2020 going to be with the Pisces? So, your Gemini, your 2020 with Pisces has got something to do with freedom, double reversed, and to clarify the devil card or the double reversed card, it's page of wands reversed. So maybe you, Gemini, and Pisces, you're not the expressive or communicative type of people. Well, Gemini can be flighty and Pisces can be very annoyed about um, Gemini's airy flightiness. So, let's see. So, either you do not see eye to eye or you do not speak at all or you're trapped in a situation wherein you don't want to speak to get to each other because you know it's just going to end up in you know in a fight or in an argument so what you need to do about this Gemini? king of wands be optimistic be versatile about your approach with uh, pisces Clarify the King of Wands is Ace of Wands reversed. So maybe you're you're thinking about how to approach this Pisces person you have in mind. Maybe you're wanting to um, 
look into the brighter side of the situation with this person. But the advice is to know your timing. Maybe, yes you can, yes you may, but now is not the right time. For some reason, the lover, the lover's reverse is here. So you need to have a coordination with this person first before you reach out. That's what I'm sensing. And if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is... Coordination, three of pentacles of right. So, yeah, coordination, group work, teamwork. So it seems like you have to go to a third party first to reach out to Pisces. It's like you have to have another person outside the situation or outside the partnership to coach you on how to tell this to that to Pisces. Or to, how to handle Pisces messages whenever she or he or she uh, says something that you you think you might misinterpret or misunderstand. So, yeah, coordination and teamwork. There's going to be communication with Pisces for 2020, but it seems like you need help from someone outside the partnership. Or the connection. So there. That's for you, Gemini. And your 2020 with the rest of the zodiac signs. So if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions about choose a number readings in English. Or maybe in Tagalog as well if you're a Filipino watching this. Uh, just comment down below. And tell your friends about it so you can compare your, your answers and your readings. Okay? So there, that'll be all. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.